What is good, y'all? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for clicking that button. Appreciate you for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's get into the topic today. So uh, on NBA TV last night, or I should say last night for me because I live in Japan. So it wasn't in the morning time. So last night I got a chance to watch the Warriors vs. Wizards in Saitama. In Japan, um, I actually tried to, uh, well, I'm not going to say I tried to. I found out too late about the game, and by the time I found out about it, tickets were sold out, but I definitely would have uh, took the Shinkansen, which is the bullet train down to Tokyo, and checked the game out, but I didn't. But I did watch uh, most of it uh, in my living room, and um, <clears throat> I was very impressed by what I seen from James Wiseman. Uh, I think in his rookie season, he only played about uh, a little over 30 games, and then he uh, got that injury and then played a couple games in the G League, um, I think last season. And I understand that it was only a preseason game. I get that. That's why I'm not over here jerking off right now. It was only a preseason game, but I, was mo I just wanted to see how he moved and how he looked. And I got a lot more than that. I got a lot more than what I was intending to observe or expect to see. He was moving phenomenally. He was like he never had an injury. So as I'm watching this game, I'm seeing how, and even though Chef and Steph Curry and the, the main pieces had limited minutes, I wanted to see how his presence on the court impacted their style of play and impacted their game. And if what I saw in that preseason game is a sign of things to come, if he can consistently even play at that level, that's assuming that he doesn't even get better. I expect him to get better as the season goes along. Assuming, like I said, so I'm not overacting, assuming what I saw is legit, and he can more or less perform on that level against most teams any given night. He's going to have a major impact on the Warriors offensively and defensively. The man is solid in the post. He has decent footwork. He's not a scared. He's not scared of being in the paint. He's out there blocking shots. He's out there setting screens. He's out there rolling. He's out there popping. He's making, he makes life so much easier for Steph Curry, especially in that pick and roll now with Wiseman. The pick and roll is very dangerous between Steph Curry and Wiseman and Draymond Green and Wiseman. And his presence will also give Draymond Green a break playing that center position. And now you can play Draymond at the 4-3 or three and still have an extra playmaker out there with Wiseman in the center. Uh, Wiseman's presence is going to do a lot for spacing, even more so because he can hit a mid-range jumper. I saw him pick and pop. Now, there was a baseline shot that he made, <clears throat> maybe a couple feet in from the three-point line. And he kind of hesitated, maybe for about... Three seconds. I was like, "You gonna shoot it? You gonna is that part? You got that? In, you got really got that in your game like that?" Look, I've seen him shoot in his rookie season, but he seemed kind of hesitant. And I think he was almost expecting the defender to jump out at him, but the defender really didn't. And then he rose up, and I, I was like, "Well, let me see his form. What is his form looking like?" And it was beautiful: guide hand, release, bucket, number net. And what I like about him is that. Because he can shoot the jumper, he doesn't always look to shoot the jumper. He's not trying to be a shooting guard or a small forward. He thrives in the paint. He loves being in the paint. But when the occasion calls for it and he, and he needs to hit an open jumper, he's confident and he has the ability to shoot the jumper. And that does a lot for spacing, especially as a big man, uh, drawing that defender out the paint, which leaves the Warriors... Uh, more spacing to do more uh, cut and slice actions um, to the paint while you still have threats on the perimeter at the same time. And the Warriors have always been good at um, 
dive into the paint too. Like they they do. They make exceptional passes, uh, threading into the lane for cutters. They've always and uh, Draymond Green, uh, Clay Thompson, and Andre Iguodala has been major recipients of that play. Um, I've seen a lot from those three on both ends, receiving and passing. Um, no question about it. Clay, Clay Thompson more receiving than passing. Um, but Wiseman's presence is, is I think it's a major game changer for the Warriors, especially after losing um, Gary Payton Jr., Otto Porter, and Toscano Anderson, Juan Toscano Anderson, or Toscano, what, is it, I think it's Juan Toscano, yeah, Juan Toscano Anderson, who were major um, role players in their championship run last year. Um, having wise men really helps with the loss of those players, but also don't get it, don't get it messed up. They did add uh, Dante DiVincenzo as well, who's a solid player, and he looked good last night as well. But I was very impressed, and, and, and Poole's going to get better. But I was very impressed by what I saw from from wise men. Um, they have a legitimate big there that even you know you don't have to create for him. As long as he does what he has to do and gets himself in position on the block, you know, off the ball, you can dump the ball into him and he has enough footwork there and enough post game, especially in today's league where there's a lot of smaller players where he can go and go to work and get you an easy bucket. Now he has a, a nice touch around the rim, can use the backboard, nice little baby hook, uh, and catches seem to catch every lob that they threw at him. Even some hard passes. Draymond threw one that was like way, it was almost like it was a lob from the baseline. I was like, oh, that's a high lob. It came up like that, came down, Wiseman came up and yammed it. And when I see him, and when I see him, he he, he has really good timing. Wiseman has really good timing because he, he doesn't have a whole lot of verticality like a DeAndre Jordan. Like he doesn't get up like that. So it wasn't like he could just jump in the air and kind of wait there for the ball to come and snatch it up. He His timing is good because he really ain't got ups like that. He ain't got like DeAndre Jordan ups when DeAndre was in his prime, um, athletically. Um, but yeah, I I really like what I saw from Wiseman. And I think uh, a lot more, than, like I said, a lot more than what I was expecting. I didn't think... I didn't think he was that polished of a player yet. And I'm not saying that he's a finished product yet. But what I saw was a lot more than what I was expecting. And I watched him play uh, before he before his injury. And granted, he didn't get a whole lot of minutes. Um, you know how it is being a rookie sometimes, especially in that Warriors offense where they do play a lot of small ball. Um, and like I said, he was a rookie. But what I what I saw, and they seemed to really want to feature him last night as well. Rightfully so, he, he should get his legs under him. He hasn't really played meaningful basketball in a very, very, very long time. And when he did play, it wasn't for a long time. Um, so rightfully so, they want to get him spun up, warmed up, get him ready for the start of the season and feature him. But uh, he's definitely going to make life easier for Draymond Green, Curry, and, and uh, Clay Thompson. And for the um, the flow of the offense as well, and what he what he provides defensively is is great, great rim protection inside the paint. I saw him block some shots yesterday, and I was impressed. And that's gonna like, like really take some pressure off Draymond Green um, in the center position, trying to guard all those bigs. And Draymond's getting older, so it's gonna help preserve Draymond long term for it for a long run as well. So I have. I like what I saw from Wiseman, and I think um, I hope they continue to feature him uh, when the regular season starts because I think it would behoove the Warriors organization and uh, Steve Kerr as a coach to do that and uh, largely beneficial to the team as a whole. So absolutely, uh, big shout out to Wiseman. Um, congratulations on your recovery, and uh, glad to see you out there. And looking forward to see you improve as a player and help the Warriors. And hopefully you can help them defend their throne as the world champions. I'm not a Warriors fan. I'm just being supportive here. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, did you get a chance to see Wiseman? Did you watch any highlights? Did you watch the game live? What did you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Like I said, small sample size. I know it's preseason. And like, like I said, this is based on if he can continue this level of play most nights on a 
on a nightly basis if all right appreciate you guys like comment and subscribe thanks for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one we out baby